Okay, this is the apple pie lab, and um, we are going to start with the pre-made pie crust, which we've already showed you how to do that. So this pie crust is ready to go for the apples, and so now we need to make our apple filling. So this, you will be making a full-size pie, again, so I am demoing the full-size apple filling, and this is eight apples. And so we have um, an apple peeler slicer here. I think these are the best inventions, and um, we're actually going to look at getting a commercial one. Um, but right now we have these small ones, and so it has prongs here, so you push the apple through here, okay? And this comes up, and this is going to peel it for us. Then when it goes through here, it's going to slice it and core it. So all you do is spin this baby. Okay. And we'll take that off. So you see we have a slinky. So, our so I'm not sure where the video left off. We're having some camera issues. But you had a slinky. So then I cut the slinky in half. And depending on the size of the pie, you can cut them again. All right? So you can leave them as halves. Or you can cut them another time and make them, um, you know, quarters. So I'm going to throw all that in here. We already have um, some apples already cut. So there's four green apples. And now we're going to do the red. The red apples do not work well on this. These are a softer apple. And so it just kind of tears them up. So... We do these by hand. So you'll get a vegetable peeler and peel the apple. Now, you don't put the apple peel into fresh apple pies because it's a little bit bitter and it doesn't soften up, all right? So even as it cooks, it stays a little tougher and then your pie consistency is entirely different. And again, you have to do this very quickly in class. This is not a sit and take your time kind of thing because you have um, eight apples to take care of. So there's different ways to do this. You can just slice the apple in half core, and then get the core out and then slice it. I'm going to use an apple core, so I'm going to push down on this. Again, there's different tools that do different things. All right, so there's our core, that's garbage. So I have all of these pieces. And I'm going to slice them up. And again, this apple is very soft. I'll go back and get those other pieces. I'm trying to do a few too many at a time. Okay. Now again, you could have just cut your apple in half and then sliced them so that they were half moons. All right, we don't want that peel in there. Okay, now this still has a little bit of the core in it, so I'm going to cut that off. The core would be very tough in your pie, and that is not what you want. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of those since they have a lot of the peel on them. And you want to slice these thin. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have all of this in here. So I'm gonna toss that one, little piece of peel out. And that one has some core. So again, as you see pieces that don't meet up to your standards, you just toss them. All right, so there's all of our apples. So we need to add all of the goodies. Okay, so this is all spice and I'm, we need an eighth of a teaspoon. And now if you don't have an eighth of a teaspoon measuring spoon, it's two pinches, okay? So there's our allspice. And a little bit of salt. And a whole bunch of sugar. All right, then we need some lemon zest and we need one and a half teaspoons. And um, I will need one and a half teaspoons of lemon zest. I think the lem fresh lemon juice and the lemon zest are what make this um, pie filling so fantastic. Now this pie filling is a little different than what you might be used to because it's a fresh apple pie. Fresh apple pies are very expensive at stores like Baker Square because you know you have to cut eight apples. Um, apple pies like that you might get in the freezer section at the grocery store are made with an apple pie that's apples that have already been cooked down. It's like canned pie filling. Okay, but we are making the real McCoy here. Okay. 
All right. So you would measure your one and a half teaspoons. So here's a teaspoon and a half teaspoon. Okay. Now we need some lemon juice. And those of you who know me well know I only go fresh. Fresh is best. So I'm going to cut this lemon in half. And I'm going to um, juice it right into here. Okay. And you can use a fork to break up all of these membranes. Okay, and we have a seed in there. All right, so we need a tablespoon plus one and a half teaspoons. So there's our tablespoon. Our teaspoon. And our half teaspoon. There we go. All right, so everything's in there. So now we're going to um, stir all of this up. You want to make sure everything's coated. So you'll spend a little extra time mixing this so that all the apples aren't in one spot or all the sugar's in one spot. Okay. Now what's nice, if you have some extra apples at home, okay, you can actually um, make this pie filling and freeze it. All right, and then make the pie when you're ready. Okay, you don't have to do it all on one day. Okay, and then as you're stirring this, if you see a seed, just go ahead and pull it out. Sometimes those little guys sneak in there. All right. Now, again, I'm making enough pie, enough pie filling for a full pie, but I am going to demo this on a pie tart. All right. All right. So here's our pie crust, and we're going to take, now, you, these pies should be mounded or heaping, because the apples are going to cook down as they cook because they're going to get soft and mushy. So we're going to put quite a bit in here, okay, there we go. Now, if you have extra apples, eat them. They are wonderful with this mixture on them. Absolutely. Once you start, you won't be able to stop. Okay? So there's our heaping pie. All right, so now we need a top crust. So what we're going to do is show you a technique that we use in advanced catering. Okay? You can do anything on top. In advanced catering, we make these for Thanksgiving. So we make fall leaves to put on top. Okay? We are going to demo this with... Um, some stars just to show you the technique. So you're going to take a little cookie cutter and we use leaf cookie cutters in catering and I'm going to cut a whole bunch. Now sometimes when students are doing this they roll this dough too thick and then these don't cook because the pie's done but their top dough is so thick that they don't cook. You need to make sure that this dough is as thin as it was when you rolled it for the bottom. And you may not need this many, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to start pulling the stars out. Now, this dough has gotten very soft because it's very warm in this room. All right, so you're going to start laying your stars on here. Okay, okay we're going to finish up. When you're laying the stars on here, they need to be touching each other, okay? And then when you get down to the crust, they need to touch the crust. Otherwise, they'll kind of float away into their own little world. All right? So you will continue doing this. And again, they have to touch the bottom crust, and then they have to touch each other. They don't have to cover each other. They just got to touch in the corners. So you see I'm pressing it in there. And then I'm going to put this one here to bring these two together. Okay? And we'll, put the, we'll shove that apple back there and put this one on top and connect it right there. Okay, and we'll put one right here to cover that. So then you're going to take an egg wash, and then an egg wash is just, you can put one or two egg whites in here. If you're making a bit, one egg white's enough for one pie, and then like one teaspoon of water and mix it, and then you just pat this very carefully with your egg wash, and this is going to give your pie crust a very nice, beautiful, rich brown flavor. And then you take some sugar, and you can use regular sugar, or you can use sanding sugar, which is a larger grain and you just sprinkle it over the top. 
and into the oven it goes. Now, this pie has to bake at two temperatures. It bakes at four, I believe 425 for 15 minutes, and then you will lower it to 350 for about another 40 minutes. So we'll show Hello, you. Hello, so we're back with apple pie, and here's our finished apple pie, and you can see that it is beautifully um, uh, turned golden brown. Um, this is a juicy pie, so you really need to let it set, cool, and then we, uh, you'll slice it after it's cooled, and then you'll present it to the class.